We turn anyway, now. speaking of uh, foreign policy and things getting complicated, Nancy Pelosi. That's right, folks. Nancy Pelosi. She's out there. She's in Taiwan. Now to breaking news overnight. China firing missiles near Taiwan. The exercise is following Speaker Nancy Pelosi's trip there. Our foreign correspondent, James Longman, is tracking the latest. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Michael. Hours after Nancy Pelosi left Taiwan, China has for the first time launched massive military drills using live fire all around the island. Chinese state media showed these pictures. They show Beijing launching their Dongfeng missiles directly into waters east, northeast, and southwest of the island. Taiwanese Bro, how are you going to fucking fire those after Nancy Pelosi's plane has landed? You know what I mean? Like, eh, spare me. Spare me, okay? Oh, look at us. Like, oh, look at our fucking... <laughs> you don't ride, okay? It's pathetic. You're a pussy. Hold this L. Top G? Not a top G behavior, okay? Military is saying China launched 11 ballistic missiles in just a two-hour period. Now, these are long-range weapons capable of traveling hundreds of miles, and it's thought these military drills are likely to last three days. Some flights are being canceled. Commercial shipping has had to be rerouted, and we're hearing reports of cyber attacks inside Taiwan as well. Now, a Chinese spokeswoman has said the drills were in response to what she called collusion between the United States and Taiwan. Now, this is a self-governing democracy, but China claims it as part of its own. And Nancy Pelosi was the most senior U.S. official to visit since the late 1990s. Now, all this is concerning because it shows just how quickly uh, China can launch these kinds of exercises. And it also demonstrates what China might do in the future if it... Why is he in London? Dude, what's happening? Are these guys just, like, going on vacation and then, like, the news will just be like, here, we're going to strap a camera to your face. Like, what... Why is he covering China from London? Is that the closest you could get to it? It's like CNN sending out the guy to fucking Budapest when, when Viktor Orban is in Texas. <laughs> also, I don't know which one of the clones this one is. All the sexy war correspondent clones, you know what I mean? ...were to launch military action by essentially causing a maritime blockade. Robin? All right, James, our thanks to you. Flights are canceled and Did you just say he probably turned now to Did you just say he probably why do you know he just got married? Why do you know he just got married? Someone in the chat literally said he's probably in London because he just got married. Why do you know that? Also, explain how you can explain how you can differentiate between him and all the other ones. Are you jealous, Hassan? No, I'm just like shocked that there are stands for anything, I guess. They have Michael Strand covering China and Taiwan. Um, 